What's up guys, my name is Khan, and we're back today with more Railroads Online. What's up, Heist? How's it going, dude? We're doing pretty good, man. We're we're on the way. We're on we're the running way. Running through the reverse loop, and we're gonna head to the sawmill today to check out what we got going on there. And we don't have much going got, on there. Uh, we we you, we really we, we don't. We need to make well, we some don't, stuff go off. We there we have like a, a a total mess that I need to. Yeah, you know, let you fix because I can't do things. So you know. it's good, man. I I'm actually really enjoying laying track. Look, look at how smooth this curve is. Okay, like look at how look at how great this is. I can see you over there. This is just wonderful. This curve is actually pretty awesome. This is a great balloon loop, and it's nice and wide, so we can run through it nice and fast, and it's awesome. So I'm excited to see what you're gonna come up with in the sawmill today, because yeah, Lord knows my log pond track wasn't even straight. So, so. I actually <laughs> want I wanted to talk to you about that because I have a question. Is this is, is all legitimate? So I make a lot of shunt yards in this game, and a lot of them are straight. But I thought today I would try and make a curve shunt yard with the actual... Because you can make such consistent curves. And I'm wondering, like, does that even exist? Like, are there shunt yards that are curved? Like, with slight curves on the individual lanes? Or are they always straight? Like, I mean, I guess straight there is are, ideal. There are many that are curved. Uh, you know, it's, it's all about boundary conditions. You got to work with the space and the area that you have available to you, right? So if you're in the middle of Nebraska, in the middle of the United States, and you got a big open wide field, you build the largest straight shunt yard in the whole world. Uh, but you know, like places like Seattle, where I used to work for the real railroad, BNSF, we had to have lots of curves and kinks in the yard because there just wasn't a whole lot of space. With all the mountains so, and stuff. Yeah, mountains, water, bridge, you know, all that fun stuff. So you got to work with the space you got, and the sawmill's pretty tight. So I think it's totally good to do a curved shunt yard as much uh, as much fun as it wouldn't be to deal with the uh, the older rolling stock in there. But thankfully in the game, it'll it'll work pretty well. So. Yeah. So like with that, you wouldn't have issues hitching or anything, right? Because as you go around, like like the hitches should still always line up. I guess it depends on how steep the curves you would are. Be, you would be surprised with some sorts of couplers and some types of hitches as you're calling them uh sometimes it is actually surprisingly hard on a curve to the point of um at the museum we run with several cars that were built in the 1870s and the 1880s and they have older style couplers and the older style couplers not quite as old as lincoln pin but the first sort of automatic coupler they really do not like coupling on a curve so we always park with our cars on the straight so that we have an easy time coupling because you fight them all day long if you're parked in a in a sharp curve but a, a gentle curve would be fine so now, i think the, the curve shut yard will be fun okay so you're talking about lincoln pin and all that modern couplers or like you know more modern coupler are they all still manually they're not manually like clamped are they, they've got to be like hydraulic or something to unlock and lock them or is it all mechanical still like it is all, all mechanical still just you know, straight some... mechanical straight mechanical at least for the stuff that's in american freight railroad service uh you know some stuff that's like light rail or high speed passenger have more advanced uh electro mechanical couplers that have a whole bunch more stuff to them but everything that's on you know amtrak or american freight railroads is entirely mechanical so you're pulling a lever it pulls a pin and that kicks the knuckle out and that's what opens it up that's so cool and they are really, really unique and neat systems, and it and it's amazing how little the design has changed in hundreds of years. Well, I see uh, you're you've hopped off and you've dropped trees on me. Oh, I did I? Yeah, did they actually land? That, oh, it landed on the, the train. <laughs> if only <laughs> you were supposed to drop in the pod, dude. What heck? What I know. Heck, I was going to say it, de like, it despawned before I could drop it in the log pod. Yeah, that would have been, been so nice. Well, I'm going to just start working here. Uh, you know, obviously. Heist is going to go collect more logs. We've got that eighth car now, so we're going to start dumping logs and really just filling up the lumber mill. Let me know when you're on your way back, though, because I may or may not actually have track. Um, well, you know, that's, you know, you know you minor need, detail. You where just you show up track. and the track's gone. It's fine. Oh, yeah, new new update. Big turntable, too, now, which is exciting. That's kind of cool. I, dude, I'm so excited to get to play with some of that stuff. You'll, we'll have to, you'll have to put the big turntable down so we can see that because we don't, we don't need money for that. And, and I guess there's end of track devices. There's some buffers, which yeah, we're um, the, they we're don't look terribly narrow gauge prototypical. Um, but I'm, I imagine that they're based off of some prototype. So they, they'll at least be handy for, you know, making sure we don't send it too hard in the yard. Yeah. And then uh, and then the new engine, the, the 280, the Mosca, which we'll, we'll definitely talk about the Mosca when we get it. Um, I think it, it, it'll deserve its own whole episode because what a neat choo-choo that thing is. I've arrived at the logging camp, but I'm running through the, the reverse loop through the back 40 here through the woods. 
So I'm going to turn around and I'll load on my way out and I'll let you know when I'm on the way down the hill. All right, someone said number two and eight. Oh, that is wicked cool, man. So you can, so like, that's you can for changing the, the leg of the switch, right? Yeah, so rather than always linking to the base of the switch, I don't have to do that stupid switch trick anymore. I can literally just select which one I want to link it to. That's really nice. That's, that, is, that is quality of life that, that has been missing from the game for a long time. Dude, that's huge. So what do we need? We need You have to be able to come in and drop off logs and then loop around and go back the way you came. Yeah, that so would be ideal. That's, so a, a reverse loop that's tied into the log unload somehow would be smart. Right, so you need to be able to go in two different directions. But you also kind of want a pass-through track too. Because if you have, like, worst case, you'd have someone running a log train, unloading logs, and you'd have someone coming through the cordwood train. Right, and you, you wouldn't be able want to the go cordwood. with the cordwood. Yeah, yeah, you wouldn't want to have to run through the, the log train or, like, the reverse loop to do that. So Right, I got you. I got you. I've tried to set up the sawmill, like, I think three or four times now, and I've never found a, an exact version that I really liked. So maybe this will be the time, and it'll be the time because Khan does it. So, uh, you know. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with a press X to doubt on that one, sir. <laughs> just gonna uh, just gonna. I've seen some people do some crazy sawmills. Like there are some people who did sawmills with like bridges over the pond, and they just dropped the logs off the bridge. We're going for you know a little bit more realism than that, but you know I, it's it's still cool. Well, you know the funny thing is in some in some sawmill locations, uh, particularly in the Pacific Northwest where there was a lot of logging railroads. Some of them actually dropped off logs off of a pier. They would actually have not like a crazy high bridge, but they'd have a bridge over the bay, you know, out as a stub track and they'd shove out basically on a like a dock for a boat, but with railroad track on it. And then they would dump logs over the side into the bay to have them go upstream or, or get loaded onto ships or go to the sawmill that way. Interesting. So there is some historical precedent for some of that stuff. So far, I've just laid out, like, the spots. That you might be able to get, like, six log trips done before I'm even done this, uh, this freaking... <laughs> we will see. Yeah. I'm, I'm loading cars three and four right now. I'm oh, in the midst God. of I don't, you crane have, clicking you have simulator You have no line connecting you back up. <laughs> it's fine. I have eight cars. I'm not even halfway filled yet. Please, yeah. please, can we get upgradable cranes? Oh, day, my God. Day, yeah, that's right. Day 638 of asking for upgradable cranes. <laughs> That's true. Upgradable cranes is like, I think that that's like the biggest quality of life. I think the game is actually like missing is upgradable crane. Although we're still technically broke. So even if we had upgradable cranes, it wouldn't really we, be helping us. We would us. not be doing anything yet. Yeah. 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 We would, I would imagine that would be an expensive, you know, a few thousand dollar type upgrade. And yeah. What did you do? I spent all the money on the cranes. <laughs> I was tired of clicking. Right away. You just keep Betsy in the one car, but you go and spend all your money upgrading the logging crates. Yes, we've loaded the car. Now we spend all of our time running. Yeah. Okay, so now I gotta figure out... Okay, so this loop... I'm, like, I kind of just want the plank loop. There's no reason the plank train, plank and beam loading train, ever needs to go to the logging camp. Correct. So yeah. it can just loop around and go back into the shunt yard over here. And then that one... Yeah, okay, I know what I'm gonna do now. This is gonna be sick, dude. This is gonna be... This is gonna be... All right. And by sick, I mean it's going to be terrible. But we're going to pretend. I think it's it gonna is be... going to be ill. It will be literally dying of a fever. Yeah, I think gotcha. it'll be cool. I don't know. I gotta, I gotta say something while I'm staring at the, the beautiful lettering on the tender, the Montezuma. Right. I got a bunch of comments on my last video about people freaking out about the period being at the end of the name, the Central Rio and Pacific with a period at the end. Right. And everyone was 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 mad about it, and it's like, guys. That, that's what they did. Every railroad did that in the 1800s. That was considered proper punctuation. To on the a, point of if name? anything... On a name. If mm -hmm. anything was abbreviated or shortened or it was the end, they would add a period. There was an engine I saw at the Great Western Steam Up in Carson City where the full name of the engine was like the Joseph Douglas, but they shortened it to fit on the cab to say Joe Douglas. So it was Joe, period, Douglas, period. That's so weird. It's so weird. It's one of those bonkers things that doesn't make any sense from early railroad. And I mean, early history, it wasn't just the railroad. But if you look at pictures of the Denver and Rio Grande engines back in the day, the tender said Denver and Rio Grande, period, on the end. 
Uh, Con, my game crashed. Oh, good. And the, the, the train is on the way down the hill, uh, and it is full reg, so. Oh, perfect. Good luck! <laughs> perfect. No, that's good. That's good. I'll, uh... You know what? This this seems like an opportune time to just put to a... To test out the end of track just, device. Just put a bumper <laughs> on the end of the track and see what happens. <laughs> We got a full reg train coming. That's great. I mean, it shouldn't fall off the track. I think our track is pretty smooth. Yeah, I guess we'll, we'll see. I'm, I'm loading back in now. I was just about to freak out because I had loaded all of the cars. And then from the distance I was, the load in the last car despawned. Or it looked like it despawned. Maybe it wasn't just rendering. So I don't know if there's a different render distance on cars versus loads. Or maybe something happened and it did something. Oh, God, I'm at the freight depot. Oh, good. Well, run your way over here. Oh, I, I see your I'll, train I'll, coming. I'll, here comes your I'll train. Betsy. Here comes the train. Hold on. I'm going to put a bumper down. This could end in potential disaster. Oh, it oh, is. Man, the, it the is first coming derailment fast. on the crap. It is coming fast. Oh, God. I got a link. Please link. Please link. Please link. Where's the link? Why are you not linking? Linked. Okay. 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 I put a bumper. Oh, no. Okay. Well, one of my favorite games is Star Fox. 52 card pickup? Star Fox 64. You know the part when he's like, do a barrel roll? That's uh -oh. what. That's, so <laughs> actually, the, the, the train engine, like the locomotive, is the only thing that yeeted itself off the track. It yeeted the locomotive and it yeeted the uh, tender, but the cars are all actually still perfectly on the track here. Well. So, That's an interesting result. <laughs> yeah, it actually it actually worked out better than I thought it would. Anyway, I'll put this back on the track. The good news is your load actually stayed on the track with the track stopper. I'm I'm blown away by that. Oh, that's good. Oh, okay. Well, I see. I've found end of track here. So yeah. I guess I'll just leave Betsy at end of track. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. I didn't connect that back up. Cause that's fine. I didn't think I'd just... need that. Yeah, no, okay, that's let's right. See. Let's see what's going on here. Well, we've got a pile of switches. All right. Don't worry, it's all set up for you. Good to go. You just gotta hook the uh, engine back up to the tender. This is just okay. my layout. Ignore all this. Don't worry about it. This is just... This is just, uh, we're making the, the Aperture Science logo out of track. Yeah, this is just me experimenting a little bit. And, and oh, hey, not... look, my game crashed again. <laughs> Your guy, like, literally is, is in the running pose. Like, he's, like, running forward, but he's frozen. <laughs> okay, I've made it back. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Welcome back, I've, sir. We're... Ran Betsy back, ran myself back several times. Uh, here's your, here's out, your train, you sir. Know, th thank you. Look, look, and it's not derailed at all. I'm going to have to watch your video to see the oh, derailment dude, it, on my it, end. Yeah, it, it ate it pretty hard. Good news <laughs> is uh, I'm not anywhere close to the progress I thought I would be uh, at. So, well, you know, it's fine. You, you can go on unload more logs and uh, yeah, just we got We got to make some more cash. Here. Make some more cash. Exactly. I'm I'm very so I'm realizing now I was going to try and do this whole like shunt yard bypass line all in one. But I'm thinking I'm going to just focus on getting like the, the bypass lines set up properly and then worry about shunt yard later. You know, Montezuma. No, the fire went out. <laughs> oh, did it? <laughs> I forgot to I forgot to put fuel it's, in the fire. It's fine. It's fine. It'll heat up eventually. All right. Oh, good. No, that was... Wow. Remember how you were all like, hey, man, it's hard to make a kink? <laughs> did, you, uh, did you find the way? Bro, I'll just, just oh, wait. Yeah. Just wait until you get here. Like, look That's, at this. Um, I've, that looks bad from here. I'm going to get this thing spotted look up. At, and then, look uh, at, I'll, I'll wait until you're gone before I start deleting rail because I've learned my lesson from <laughs> the numerous times I've had to re-rail trains. But... And all of a sudden, the entire train's in the dirt. Yeah, yes. it's like, right? Like, where's the crane to put it back on the track? You know what I'm saying? Yep. Got to get a Derek. Come on. This kink Come is on. pretty bad, though. This is This is next level. Bad right, kinks. All the logs are unloading. That's um. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. That's that is that is really a that's kink. that's some spicy that's some spicy that is, spicy that is, action right there. That's not jalapeno track. That's like Serrano track. Yeah, at that's, least. that's yeah. like. Excuse me, God sir. I like extra hot sauce, and then you're like, oh, okay, no problem. Yeah, that's uh, that's that's no good. Railroads online uh, should also have uh cards. That's what I'm thinking. Like like you know trading cards as part of the. Th that would be fun. It's like, oh, your train is running to boiler pressure. But wait, I play extra logs times two. <laughs> 
Welcome to the card mini game. Yeah, the card mini game. It's just what happens to... when they pull an Uno reverse on you? Oh yeah, no, that... get sent back. Yeah, <laughs> plus two derailment. Oh dang it, <laughs> no, man! Don't do that. Don't curse me that way. <laughs> What's the problem, Con? Give me... I don't. I don't know what you're doing. I you're need to give you. I need to give you a reverse line to like go back the other way. You know what I'm saying? And I just that I'm would not, be ideal. Yeah. I'm not doing that. So like that's that's the issue. You need a turnaround line somewhere. This double cross nonsense causes other problems, but that's for double like double cross. Yeah, well, I got two main lines, right? You've got the the main line and the bypass line, but then you've got a cross for the people who pick up planks and beams because they got to be able to go back the other way, you know? Mmm. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. There may not be a crazy shunting area at this log mill. Honestly, I, I as much as I want to put a shunt yard here, I think it makes more sense to not have a shunt yard here. And just have it as, like, a bunch of different passageways for loading and unloading. Because, like, realistically, you don't really ever need trains at the sawmill. It's a very popular destination, but you always go there, grab something, and then go to where you actually want to be. Yeah, it's definitely... So it's because it's so early in the chain, you're not like loading and leaving stuff there. Yeah, you're not gonna like load up a car with beams and just leave it at the sawmill. You're gonna just load it and then leave. So I want to make it like really flowy in and out, so it can yeah, handle a lot of about, traffic. It's about like unit train operation, and and a lot of railroads online right now is actually pretty unit train based, which I hope it moves away from someday. Right. Uh, to be a little bit more representative of the era, but. You know, where you're running a train of one commodity and you, you run through like a reverse loop or sort of setup like I'm doing right now where I go, I go to the logging camp, I load up with a bunch of logs, I've got a train that is all logs, take it to its destination and unload it. Whereas like more common in this era was a manifest train where, okay, I'm at, you know, one location. I'm at a town, I'm at Denver and I'm heading vaguely towards Alamosa in Southern Colorado. And I'll bring stuff that goes to Alamosa, but some stuff that goes to other parts of Colorado that will get switched out at Alamosa at their, you know, at their shunting yard. Yeah, I mean, I and guess so the, it'll be a mixed train. The problem but. with with, in that sense, with railroads online is the fact that all the industries are sort of um, so far separated. Like, there's no real yeah. there's no real incentive to be like, oh, I'm gonna have a logging train that also does this delivery because your logs are going to point A, which is you know one place in the map, and and something else is going to point B, right? If we yeah, had like, sort of, towns and cities that we had to help like develop with resources, then that would be yeah, like or that or destinations that changed their demands. That were like, hey, I want some of this and some of that, not just not just binary, just this. Yeah, which you know, I imagine that sort of thing will likely come down the road when the game gets a little bit more developed. Because right now, I mean, we've been dealing with really core issues, right? Our team right. has been working on really core issues of track laying and and new engines and, and all that stuff. So I imagine that stuff will hopefully come later, but it'll be interesting to see what comes. Cause yeah, making the economic side of it more intertwined would uh, would make it a lot more fun and, and give the purpose to the, the shunting yards like they really had, I would think. Might need another l wildlife crossing if you know what I mean. <laughs> it's a Gotta bit sure of a- the critters can get a- It's underneath. a bit of a steep one. You got like 60 deer just dead because they couldn't climb the hill, you know, over the track. <laughs> like it's, it's, a, it's a rough, rough life. It is. You'd be surprised at how, uh, how well they can climb the ballast though. We've, uh, at the museum for the longest time, I, I haven't seen him this year, but we had a, a deer, uh, or two, a little family of deer that lived at the museum or nearby the museum. And we would see him wandering around. I've actually got a picture of him, uh, on the turntable. Just dude was just strutting around early on a Sunday morning. And it's like, that's a deer on the turntable. What's it doing there? <laughs> yeah, and he's probably looking at you like, bruh, what what, what do you want? What, this is my house. Why are yeah. you here? I live here. Oh, sorry, man. But yeah, definitely during like one of the early years of Polar Express, we were running the train and, and there was the deer and he jumped up the fill and it's like, get out of the way. Get off the tracks, dude. I remember one time I was uh, I was golfing and me and my buddy were, were on this this tee box and we're golfing and there was this fox just staring at us and like i swear i've never felt so judged on a golf swing in my entire life than with this <laughs> and he, he was like literally six feet away didn't care 
you you're swinging like a big metal object. He's like, bruh, like what? Are you, and he's just staring at us the whole time. And I was like, all right, cool. <laughs> just I like, guess. Well, you sliced it, Khan. Yeah. And you're like, oh. what a shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh man, that's hilarious. Yeah, it was not a good time. Yeah, I sometimes wonder what the what the bunnies at the museum have seen and and thought about us. And our, and our train operations. Oh, why, why'd you pick that track, huh? You, you're switching out that way, huh? Hmm? There's like hundreds of bunnies. You actually don't know. They, they, they come awake at night and they uh, <laughs> they drive the trains themselves. The trains they just take us. the trains yeah. and some joy rides. I wouldn't be surprised. All right. So this is like... Like, the bypass line for Cordwood exists, but, like, that's... I don't have a turnaround line for you yet. You know what? I'm just gonna... I'm gonna go back to this, and then I'm gonna clean up the front, and then I'm gonna figure out how to do this. I've got... So, I've got a section for someone coming in from the freight depot side could load up beams. And then I'm gonna make a loop for them to go back. But I don't really have a loop for you yet. You need a loop. Now I'm playing the uh, good old game of find the main line. <laughs> That's fine. I could probably help you with that. Hear your whistle. Oh, it's over there. Oh, perfect, actually. I'm in a good spot. Never mind. I lied. I found the main line. Oh, good. We're good. I just blew my, uh, my call for a station stop. I don't have a conductor on my train, but... It was a historical practice on uh, narrow-gauge railroads like the DNRG, at least in the DNRG W and DNRG timetables, to uh, have one long whistle when you approach a stationed location or a location with a name. So in this case, the sawmill. And then uh, the conductor would tell you what to do as you look back at him. And three shorts means conductor told you to stop. And then two longs would be, uh, or we're going to continue on. Oh, I see what you're getting going. This is pretty. Yeah, it's very like I'm trying to do super gradual stuff. So okay, all right, I'm I'm, I'm really liking this so far. And Betsy's Betsy's on the alignment where it makes some amount of sense for it to be. Yeah, I, yeah. Don't don't just just pretend Betsy's not. Don't worry about Betsy. Well, we'll get an engine shed put in at some point. It'll be fine. I feel like the one thing that would terrify me about driving a real life locomotive is when it starts to go and like you know like slip or something and like it's a lot of weight you know it's like like it's one thing when you're in a car and your car starts to like slip and slide and whatever and i mean i guess you know the train you're on rails so there's that but like it's a lot more weight too though it's like it is a lot more weight so the catastrophic failure is much higher you know what i mean like it's yeah slip wheel slip can be really bad like if you have a bad slip you can break some stuff there have been a number of bad incidents with like real wheel slip uh, back in the day and, and even in modern day in preservation. Um, one of the worst incidents for wheel slip was uh, in Britain. It happened to a locomotive called the Blue Peter, where the locomotive had so much water in the boiler that when they opened the throttle a little bit further, it started basically like a geyser, a tornado of the water from the boiler down into the engine. And that type of engine was a, a superheated engine. So the water gets into the superheaters and it immediately flashes to really, really voluminous steam. And so, you know, despite them trying to shut the throttle after that happened, the geyser kept the throttle stuck open and it, the steam kept flashing. You know, the water kept flashing to steam. And the locomotive basically went 140 or 150 miles an hour in place for oh, that's like good. 20 Oh, 20 good. seconds and it threw all of the rods off blew the pistons out like totally wrecked the engine itself um and it was a bit tragic too because the the poor engineer tried to tried to save it any way he could he couldn't get the throttle shut so he went for the screw reverser and when he unlocked the screw reverser it it threw so violently that it broke both his arms oh. like really violent stuff yeah so. no i'm i'm good i'm good i don't want to i don't want to do that yeah, so you know, just don't do that. Just don't, you know, have that uh, that problem, and you'll you'll be okay. But yeah, it's definitely wheel slip is definitely not something you want to mess with. But thankfully, usually the the answer is you can close the throttle back, and it it'll usually catch. So it still would just be, I feel like, the most terrifying feeling. I just finished connecting the main line back up to the freight depot. So very nice the main line's a little bit further out than it was but that's okay we do a little bit less of a cut across 
It's very gradual. It's a 70 foot radius. So should be, you know, less than 25 degrees or something like that. I don't remember your math, but. 70 foot or 70 meter? 70 meter. I don't know. The units. Yeah. The, like yeah. 70, 70 foot. 70 that's feet really would be, tight. Uh, yeah, no, that's, right. that's pretty tight. We're parallel. We're uh, we're three point turning the train on the seventy foot radius. I was gonna say seventy foot radius is even worse than Moro Castle on the Uinta Railway, um, and that the Uinta Railway madness. I mean, Mor Moro Castle was we call it Moron's Castle jokingly because it just like a bit of railroad that like it, you wouldn't want to drive up it in your car, let alone a two six six two articulated steam locomotive. Uh, right, which which Kume's teased in the in the latest update. I'm actually so freaking excited for that. Those locomotives were so cool. So hopefully we get to see that in game sometime. But um, yeah, the the railroad when they got the articulated engines, they widened the curve to a 66 degree curve, which is a 90 foot radius curve, which is insane. A but it's also laid on a seven and a half percent grade. So you're just like doing a little corkscrew in a giant steam locomotive. And it's just like, why did you guys do this? There was, was there no other way? Oh man, I don't know. This is pretty cool. Yeah, I'm excited. Um, it's, it's not, I thought it was going to be a shunt yard. It's not, I was, I was expect, I, I'm realizing now it's such a small area. It makes more sense to, do it as a series of like bypass lines but it's it's pretty cool we're gonna have to put them all to use one time like yeah we're gonna have to give a reason for each track so we're gonna have to like unload a log train have a cordwood train running through while someone's loading lumbers or beams or something oh yeah no that's all some, possible some with this with yeah, this setup you'll be all. able to have all three things happening simultaneously someone could bring cordwood through while someone's loading up a beam train while someone's dropping off logs and like there's places where they'll interact with each other but you know you wait for 30 seconds let the guy pass whatever and and yeah. you're good to go that's exciting that's it sounds like it's a really good design the early look that I got last time when I was down is pretty good. I'm yeah, loading now I just the, need to figure uh, out. I'm loading cars five and six right now, so I've, I've only got two more cars to go once I got these two logs on, so I'll be yeah. down to take a peek in just a minute here. I love that curve around the pond. That's really pretty. What the, the, that's the, you mean the, um... From the logging, the pickup. or the, the, yeah. the pickup, yeah. Oh, don't worry, this is all, I might actually have your return to finish, so you might be able to just go straight and come out of here. Well, if I can ever stop. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I don't know how easy it's going to be, but we're going to try it. Oh, okay. I kind of see what you're doing. Oh, we're going to have like nested loops and stuff. This is going to oh, be Oh yeah. This looks This is going to be a little silly. I is, like where this, this is, is going. This is going to look sick. Dude, I'm trying to make super gradual curves. Like that's the key, right? Is try to be as gradual yeah. as possible. So you have all these nested loops. It would be easier if the crossovers had like, you know, 45s and stuff, but yeah. I think I'm done. So I'm going to hop on board with you. I'm going to just clear these logs off the track. Okay. I, I see what's going on here. This is, you're going to actually... have to give me a, we'll have to do a little tour of the, uh, the, the layout now that yeah. it's pretty much completed, right? Yeah. This is this. I like this. We'll have to drive the train around it for sure. I got to finish unloading here. I got to back up for this though. How much money I did overshot. you end up making, by the way? I think you ended up doing I've, like three loads? I've, yeah, this is the third load. I should have somewhere in the order of $1,500. So we should be able to get, you know, maybe close to six, hopefully. Well, um, if you have 1500 bucks, yeah, six, six, six yeah. plank cars, yeah. I've got 1370 right now. No, I got 1370 right now, and I got five more cars to unload. Oh, so so that's we might good. get more than six. Yeah, that's awesome. Because there's $60 oh, man, a piece. Oh, man, right? is, this is the coolest log camp layout. Sawmill. Yeah, whatever. I don't know. This is the coolest layout, okay, of, of Industry <laughs> X that I've Insert ever done. Industry here. I'm a huge fan of this. Actually, I'm a really big fan. Okay, I'm actually, yeah, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done the layout. He's done? He's calling it? There I think it so. I think I have all the routes we need. So, yeah, this is, this is, I'm gonna go throw a switch for you. Alright, I'm gonna throw my bar and forwards here and Let's see if I can't haul it. Yeah, so Ooh, this is so... View. The only thing we can't do is with this lay... Oh, no, that's not even true. We could still... Yeah, never mind. I made this layout awesome. 
Oh, dude, I'm excited. You can still go from the planks if you wanted to. I don't know why you'd ever need to do it, but you could load up planks and beams and then go to the logging camp. I don't know why you'd need to do that, but you could still do that with this layout for some reason. That's fun. So, so just... we got the bypass line. We've got the Yeah, the cornwood bypass for when someone's unloading. You can just bypass yep. them as they unload. Um, oh, God. Yeah, look at all these switches. Look at all, yeah, this... all the switches are here. So I'm going to hop on board with you. Yeah, hop on. Okay, oh my so goodness, now, now if you go to the right here this is the right to go back to the logging camp if you go like i left that line open that's for smelter eventually gotcha and okay. then you can go that other line goes back to the main freight depot which we'll take in a bit okay and then all this right. this goes we'll just we might as well just ride this all the way back to the logging camp and then do the loop around whatever so this comes back around yeah. Dude, I love this. This is the coolest I've ever done. This is I'm, actually genius, Cod. I'm this tuned, is awesome. I'm tuned my own horn, but I really like this setup. Yeah, there you go. See, I'm now we got a, another muscles. crossover. So this is a loop and a loop. Like, you got a, two okay. loops here that yep. were... So we cross and that so loop. And so that's the loop for the loading track, The right? loading track return or going to load. Yeah, either or. And now it puts us back onto the bypass line, which then brings us back out to the log camp. Dude, this is the best layout for the sawmill I've ever seen. This is so cool. I have so seen many a lines. lot of sawmill layouts, and you could easily add more shunting if you wanted it there. Like, if yeah, you we could some, add, some add some space more for cars and whatever. Yeah, we could have some switch offs there, it. put like a, a table if we wanted to, and uh, you know, an engine shed or whatever. Yeah, it'd be super easy. Well, dude, that's so cool. Now it's like it's like beautifully simple, and yeah. all the nested switches in that like that little alley at the canyon of trees there that's that's really cool <laughs> the one thing i like about this layout which is what i was really trying to accomplish is all the curves are so gradual so before i used to have issues where we, i think it's called pull through where you like pull the front of a train and it's so heavy and long that it, like the middle comes off the track right oh string line derailment string yeah. That, yeah that's what it's called but like with this layout i think the curves are gradual enough where we won't have that problem I think you're totally right. Those curves were all really gentle. Um, I'm honestly impressed. I really think it's cool. I was a little disappointed, I'm not gonna lie, when I started trying to lay out shunting space and realized there just wasn't a lot of shunting space. But now that it's got, we're gonna have, the, the theme of this world is gonna be lots of loops. Heist, lots of loops. <laughs> lots of loops. Loops lol. everywhere. The theme is lol. Lots you know, of loops. You know that, that Buzz Lightyear meme where it's like, like, you know, he's got like the, the talking to Woody, he's like everywhere, you know, stuff everywhere, it doesn't matter. Loops everywhere. That's what we're Loops doing. Loops everywhere. Yep. Yep. For sure. I love how smooth the splines are now. Compared to how they were. Yeah. I have heard from some commenters on my videos that apparently it's the same amount of segments per spline, no matter how long the spline is. So if you make a really long curve, it might be less smooth than if it's several shorter pieces. So we'll have to keep that in mind when we make some other stuff. But so far, I haven't seen any problems with it. I noticed that like when I was building, smooth. actually. Um, when I made shorter curves versus longer curves, sometimes the, the points where the track connects, like where you link it, isn't as smooth depending on how long the curve is after it. Gotcha. Yeah, that's interesting. But you can always just delete it and replace it and boom, done, easy mode. I think part of the key in this to make you really good track is using circle mode a lot. So you kind of go like circle mode, straight piece, circle mode, straight piece, circle mode, and then you kind of like line up where the radiuses are going to match, and then you just do the last little piece without circle mode, and it ends up like filling it perfectly. Gotcha. That's that's smart. For a that's moment, I just forgot where we were. I didn't even realize we were at the log camp. I was just looking around, I'm like, where are we? And then I was like, oh yeah, right, we're, at the <laughs> we're in the woods. <laughs> Yeah, for a logging camp, they should have more trees cut cut down, but, you know, here we are. Do you want to load up one more, or do you want to just drive back empty? I don't know. What sounds good? How much money you got? Let me take a look. I have $1,670, so I could get six cars. Or I guess we should load it once. We're already here, right? All right. Let's do it. All right. All right, we're all loaded up. Let's do the last run here. Yeah, we really need uh, we really need a caboose. I feel we need to. We do. Caboose would really make the theme feel yeah. right. The problem is they should be free because I don't want to spend money on them. Right. They don't haul goods, and I they know. don't feel like, like they have that much of a purpose other than looking cool right now. We ain't hauling. We ain't we ain't balling. 
making money. Sure. No, no, no. Holiday balling. Well, yeah, I'm just trying to think of what like a good, a good. <laughs> if, you ain't, if you ain't got the load, you ain't got. I, I, I don't know. I'm not good know. at this. I'm not. I'm not good at that either. I'm not a creative person. If you ain't person. hauling, you ain't balling. It yeah. works. You know. Got. We got to get these logs, man. We got to drop them off at the pond. You know. <laughs> yeah, man. Then we can buy some cars and then assemble some plank trains and then sell that stuff to the freight depot. Moving up in the commodity world. Yeah, I think. What is it? Logs sell for like. What is it? Six a piece? Ten, five ten a, piece? a piece? Ten a piece? I think it's ten a piece, I think. And then the planks are like, what, four, 12 or something? Or 14, maybe? I think it's 12, and then the beams are 24, I think. Oh, so really? The beams are like, valuable. Interesting. Yeah. So you get you end up with um, $72 per car, whether it's beams or... Um, oh, I see. It's just, it's just yeah. six versus three. Yeah, exactly. But it means that... If you know, if you just want to load a train full of beams, you have less clicks to get that amount of money. Right. Provided you have enough material and less making. weight too. Actually, I'm pretty sure beam car is lighter than a. I think you're right. Yeah, I want to say beams are lighter as well. And so that might be a good strategy because if we can pile the log pond super deep, uh, the industries now will produce two of one commodity if the other one's full. So yeah, that's just, right. They changed. That yeah. was a long time ago. That was changed. That's right. So we can actually just let it drain all the beams and then just keep stocking beams only, and it does it twice as fast. It'll do twice yeah, as many. You're loading beams. a lot less on the crane. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's that's a good point. We should just literally do nothing but beams to make money. Beams to the freight depot, man. Yeah, that's a good point. Give it the beams. <laughs> that's less clicks. I'm all about less clicks, man. That's that's where it's hey, at. Man. I, I have worn through mice before from all of the clicking, so you know you gotta you gotta keep that in mind. They're only good for a couple of million, so you know. We're on the wrong switch. No, you yep, over. Yep, I'm. Yep, I tried. I guess I could just run. Wait, through Wait, yeah, loop. just run through. Run through. We can we can make yeah, this work. Yeah, I I had it in full reverse with the brake on, but coming down the percent and a half right there. Yeah, these we can log make this cars work. show poor Montezuma what's going on. Look at all these loops, man. All these loops. Look at all these loops. Appreciate the loops. I want to see this from the top, like what the top view of it is. I know, right? Can, is, there's no way to fly, though. Yeah, it's a bummer. I'd have to build I think, myself I, I like I think a... there's still a mapping uh, third-party software out there, I think. So maybe, we, uh, maybe we'll have to toss the map up on that and see what it looks like. Oh, yeah, you didn't see the bridge back at the freight depot yet, either. Oh, there's a bridge at the freight depot? No, like the bridge, the the this part of the track to go back to the freight depot. I, I oh, there built, is a bridge there. I built it onto a bridge just because that'll probably all change later once we start going to the smelter and stuff. But like, yeah, it uh, it just would look too tall for Phil, you know. I get you. I get you. Wildlife crossing, you know. It's it's a pretty big wildlife crossing. I'm not gonna lie. Dude, I love this switch junction though. This is great. Just all of the switches right all there. This is. This is, I love it. It's a bit of madness, and it's also a bit of, like, the railroad probably wouldn't have set it up that way just so that people don't accidentally throw the wrong switch and, and cause the train to go no, in man, the dirt. Labels. But, they just need you know, labels. We just need, like, signs, you know? Yeah, I want signs. They, they, they showed pictures of signs a long time ago. Signs would be very nice. Yeah. It'd be great to That's see signs just and so signs. things and, and uh, leave silly messages and stuff like that, you know? All right, you uh, unload that. I'm going to go fire Betsy up because Betsy's probably cold, I would imagine. Pro yeah, probably again. Probably very cold. Yeah, Betsy is very cold. We're going to just throw some logs in there and get Betsy going. All right, perfect. I'm going to just come. Stop. Stop. See what you're doing. Zuma. Zuma's like, no, I want to go. I just go. That's all I do. I am the Zuma. All right, perfect. Just gonna oh, break right here. Hello. Howdy. How are you? Doing well. I'm loading logs, having them bonk my head. Perfect. Got knocked into the lake. It's fine. I'm gonna go set the switch to go back to the freight depot, and I can just follow you out on the same uh, same line. Okay, that sounds good. I guess I guess I'm gonna shove back because I'd have to run through the loop again to to get going the other way, but. I don't think yeah, that's... I mean, you could, you could, yeah, you could, you either have to shove back. It actually kind of makes more sense for you to, I mean, unload on the way in, I guess, because you just line up. But either way, I didn't realize when you're unloading, the only problem is you could be blocking the crossing of the other train. Yeah, you could be. It depends on the way that you're going and how far you are. But I mean, it's, 
it's, the unloading of logs goes so quick that it's like it's yeah not really it's not really a problem. huge deal that yeah. was kind of my thought too is like it's not going to be a big deal because of how fast it's going to happen so yeah dude we're almost stacked up our log pond's got like 90 some logs in it which is good because that means we've logs. also filled up the whole product yeah so we should have 100 100 and then we've got 92 in the uh that's good pond, and, we can, so. and, and if what you're saying about the price is true we could just suck back beams like crazy yeah i'm excited that'll be a great next episode for us i think yeah make some money make that moolah get some new cars get some more choo-choos uh, dude there's so many new locomotives i want to play with them so we got to make some cash yeah we got to make some cash for sure and then we got to connect more industries and make bigger cash the problem is what does the smelter take the smelter is iron it's iron ore plus cordwood right cordwood yeah so we're gonna need to have iron which we need hoppers and the iron mine takes wood products, I think. It's just... Yeah, the lumber and the beams, yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm coming up on the inside line here. <laughs> he's, got, he's got the inside line. He's taking the like, faster route. This is actually kind of cool because I'm going to automatically just throw this switch. Yeah, you'll just get right in front of me. Yeah. 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 And then there we go. Perfect. This is great. Oh, dude, this is sweet. Yeah, definitely an unorthodox uh, logging camp or uh, sawmill setup, I mean, but, uh, you know. Dude, I like it. It's unorthodox, but I think it's going to be really streamlined and it's going to work really well. So, unorthodox or whatever, I like it. Oh, and this is the older style of trestle. Yeah, I wasn't... Cool. In this kind of area, it seemed big enough that it needed the older, the older yeah. style. It looks nice with the prelaid track on top of it now. It seems more uniform than it used to. Yeah. There you go. Now we're back on the main line, heading back to the freight depot. There it is. Well, Dude. next time we're gonna gonna have to run a couple trains and, and get all the commodities moving and start making that cash. Get yeah. some new trains. Hundred oh, percent. I always like more trains. More trains is more good. Yeah, I, I'm I, I'm blown away by I could never have made a track this smooth with the old tools if I wanted to. Like you imagine trying to make a curve this large with this size of radius and have it look <laughs> like Good proper. Luck. Yeah, no, there would have been it never would have no happened. Way. So it's, it blows my mind how good these tools are, especially like that bridge there. That bridge is like multiple segments that are all connected together, but you can never tell even though it falls like a nice smooth S and stuff like yeah, it would I'm have so been excited. Such a chore to do with the old tools. So yeah, yeah, like I'm stoked to make mountain passes, man. Like, you have no idea. Like just like all these crazy twisty turny stuff in the mountains. Like it's gonna be great. Betsy's got a beefier edge than you. You got a little like. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How come Betsy gets a cooler whistle than the poor Yeah. Montezuma? What? What's, what's going on? You got the. You got a terrible whistle. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm just gonna slam on the uh, the old brake here soon enough. Oh, you're going into a shunt lane apparently. I'm, I'm shunting myself. I've just followed you whatever direction you're going. But yeah, let us know what you guys think in the comments down below. Obviously, we got more uh, more to do in railroads. We got a lot of money to make. But, uh, you know, we're not really going to do much railroad training off camera to make money. Because you figure might as well just, you know, let you guys enjoy the magic of driving trains, you know. But yeah, let us right. know what you guys think. Give us other ideas for episodes. And uh, like, subscribe. We'll see you all next time. Oh, yeah. Check out Heise's channel, too. Yeah, all that stuff. And check out Khan's channel if you're, like, one of the four people not subscribed to it. You know, so. <laughs> well, <I'll laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye. Bye.